Hey folks, Steve Stack, Bear Brothers Fine Hardwoods. A uh, little, little addition of shop talk. We're not going to 7060 Quarry Road. We're in an undisclosed location in Virginia with our partners of Renovation Hunters. I have Christy Miller with me from Moak Hill Millworks. Uh, we've had a fun few days. Some of it involved installing some of Bear Brothers 5 inch uh, character grade white oak flooring, pre finished in our, in our uh, satin clear coat went down great for the most part. Right. We're dealing with a hundred plus year old cabin. Things weren't level, plumb. We have slope, we have humps in the floors. A couple different ways, Christy, to deal with it. I know we experienced yeah. both on, in the uh, three areas that we did down here. Mm -hmm. What, uh, how do we approach it? What's the options? Uh, one of the options is to use shims or you can build up the subfloor a little bit to take out some of that slope and balance it out. Right, and in this case, uh, well, we did that in, uh, in the bathroom yep. area of this yep. house. This was an existing, originally, mm -hmm. an existing porch. Yeah. Uh, it had slope away from the house by design. Mm -hmm keep water traveling yep. away. But <clears throat> over the years, the slope didn't bother us. We could deal with that. Right. Um, but it had a major hump in the center of the room. Mm -hmm. And and just, just with this little four foot level, this room, if I remember, is about 11 feet yeah. across the front wall. But in a four foot area, we have a, a quarter, play. five eighths of an inch, right? Yeah. So I remember when we were doing this baseboard, that's when it becomes an issue. How do you handle it? So we were using a one by six poplar baseboard in this project, and we were literally balancing on this three foot section in the center, and we had an inch and a quarter exposure under the baseboard right. on each end. So we knew we were using a shoe molder. Mm -hmm. We had to close that gap on each end. Yep. And the way we had to do that was, we couldn't take it all out and reduce our base by that inch and a half. So we went three quarters of an inch. We took a piece of the uh, three quarter floor and laid on top of the laid floor, put a pencil on it, and scribed yeah. it from end to end. We removed three quarter on each end out of the center and left our ends uh, at five inches, I believe right. we wound up with. So that way, when it came down, it contoured to the uh, our wood floor that we just laid, we still had exposure on the ends, mm -hmm. but it wasn't anything that the three quarter inch shoe mold, shoe mold. covered up, yeah. right? So it was a little bit of work, but it's the right way to do it. And it, wor it works in reverse on our side walls. We had just the opposite. It was a challenge, but. Yeah, when you're in the field in a location like this, you really kind of have to um, cut your losses, so to speak. So. We did the best with what we had, and that shoe molding that we made out of some of your poplar um, was the perfect way to just clean it up yeah. right at the end. All in all, it turned out fantastic. It's, yeah. a, it's a cute little cabin yeah. coming to life. Till next time, folks, Steve Stack, Fairbrothers Fine Hardwoods.